This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, the 4th of October. I'm Michael Groff. Ten consecutive days breaking a record high temperature in Phoenix. And you know what? I've read your comments and your emails. And you know what? I think today would just be a great day to take the day off. You know, I mean, we're already here recording the video. Let's just talk about something else. I know it's normally a weather discussion, but I don't know, we got the MLB playoffs going on. Let's talk about that. All right. Detroit Tigers, great Cinderella story, less than a 1% chance to make the postseason, and then they do it. They somehow manage to make it in. They're in the divisional round. They're against the Guardians. An uphill climb for sure, but can they pull it off? What do you guys think about that? Kansas City Royals, another great story. Small market team, Bobby Witt Jr., just dominating. And, you know, had Aaron Judge not had the amazing season he did probably should be the MVP. And in fact, in my mind, probably should still be the MVP. Aaron Judge is amazing, the best player in the American League. But without Bobby Wood Jr., the the Royals don't even make the postseason. And the National League, well, I don't like any of those teams in the National League. I mean, first of all, the Padres and the Dodgers, those are NL West teams. Can't root for them, right? I mean, even though Shohei Otani is amazing and uh, best player in the world, uh, but no... And the Phillies and the Mets, obnoxious fan bases, and can't root for them either. You can't root for Philly and New York. Come on. All right. Okay, it's maybe you don't want to talk MLB playoffs. Fine. Um, Going to be running a Pathfinder 2 campaign before long. Um, anybody want in on that? Uh, the one and only Michelle. She's gonna make. She's making a Kitsune Barbarian. Got some of my friends going to play some Pathfinder 2. Maybe we'll talk a little uh, RPGs on this channel. How about that? No? You guys still want to talk about this heat? Really? Okay, fine. For the sake of tradition, let's do it. How long will this streak continue? We're at 10 consecutive record-breaking days. Today will be 11. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That'll be make it 14. Tuesday, 15, in all probability. When will this record-breaking heat, this unprecedented, really unfathomable heat, come to an end? We'll talk about that and everything else reluctantly as we dive on in. But before we do that, here's another distraction for you. It is Friday. That means it's Photo Friday. That's where we take a look at some of the photos and or videos that you guys have submitted. First up, David Parnell, Coconino High School, the place last Saturday the time. And as David even says, yeah, it was uh, pretty warm. 20 degrees above average across most of the state. I mean, 10 to 20 degrees above average. And that means it was pretty toasty even up there in northern Arizona, especially for a 3 p.m. kickoff. I do see some clouds there, but that's about all they had in Flagstaff last weekend. Then we got some pictures from Joe. These are some leftovers from his trip to North Carolina. And yes, I believe he was there before Helene came on through. But some great pictures. I really appreciate you guys. Whenever you guys are out on vacation somewhere, anywhere, uh, always sending those in. Look at that. Michelle would love that. That's a great picture right there. Nice. So thank you, Joe. And then Beth, a great sunset. This is, uh, she took this from South Phoenix. Remember the uh, wildfires that we had? There was a big fire on the uh, Gila Gila River Reservation last weekend. And I I believe that's where this smoke comes from. But as bad as it is, it does make for a beautiful sunset. And I believe uh, Beth, of course, has, has the garden going. Things are still blooming despite the heat. I don't know how it happens. Yes, our mint plants in the backyard. We talk about those all the time here uh, in, at Studio B. Uh, we got those still going. And the, the I don't know, those are, those are managing to beat the heat and continue to grow. And then we go international Zane in Brisbane, Australia. Yes, they are transitioning Uh, into spring as we move into fall and the weather is looking lovely and then he also notes this the chicks newborn chicks yeah there you go all sorts of stuff happening anything to avoid talking about the heat right well that's photo friday you got something you want to submit groff show at gmail.com is the email address it's g-r-o-f-f show at gmail.com for photo friday People are going to be like, I just tune in for weather. I don't want to hear any of this other stuff. You suck. All right, fine. All right, fine. I will. You guys want you guys want to be masochists. Here we go. One hundred nine degrees was the afternoon high yesterday. 
Yeah, that broke a record. That's the 10th straight day. Believe it or not, 82 was the morning low. That also broke a record warm low temperature. 94 and 71 are the averages for this time of year, but you can forget about that. We're not going to be anywhere close to those for a while. And uh, that record high, the previous record, 105 degrees. Mm. All right, as we check the running totals here, that's 131 days now on the year with a high temperature at or above 100. We're going for the all-time record. We've only got 14 more days to go. That means by this time on Friday the 18th, if we continue, we'll be talking about breaking this record. Also, we've had 111 days with a low temperature at or above 80. And we're going to maybe tack on to that uh, total of 110 degree days, believe it or not. Outside right now at 10 o'clock, sunny sky, 93 degrees at Sky Harbor. It's just super dry, dew point 34, relative humidity 12%. Wind light, barometer rising. Satellite picture, upper level look, the water vapor view. High pressure of 591 Ridge sitting here over the southwest. And the main storm track is far to the north of us. And so that's going to keep us hot and dry. And again, upper heights at 591 decameters in early October is almost unheard of. And that's why we are having this record-breaking heat. But you also combine that with almost no soil moisture and very dry air. And it just makes for a very efficient way to for the sun to heat the ground, which heats the air. And so, yeah, we're, we're just going to continue to cook here in the southwest until further notice. The watch warning map, how about it? Got windy conditions across much of the inner mountain west, especially from the Great Basin through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, northern Utah, out into the Plain States. Red flag warnings, wind advisories, high wind warnings, all out there with low humidity, windy conditions. The potential of wildfires continues there. Now, for us, we've got an excessive heat warning that's in effect through 8 p.m. Monday, the National Weather Service keeps extending that. They may well extend that to Tuesday, but there is a possibility that could be where the heat warning comes to an end. But that's not going to mean it magically just gets cooler. But we do see a small change in the weather pattern we'll talk about in a moment. Convective outlook for today, no organized severe weather anticipated across the country. Tropics in the Atlantic Basin, a couple of interesting things on the board here to take a look at. Uh, we've got Kirk, we've got Leslie, and the potential of an area of disturbed weather to develop across the Gulf of Mexico. And that may impact Florida with some heavy rain over the next few days. And there is a 40% chance, according to the National Hurricane Center, that that develops into a tropical depression or storm. But we'll see how that plays out. You know, the, the confidence in that solution has gone down a bit. Hopefully, if it develops, it's just a weak system and just brings some rain across that area and no further uh, damage because that's the last thing that anywhere in Florida or anywhere across the southeast U.S. could use. Now, as for Kirk, this is a major hurricane. This is Category 4. Top winds at 140 miles per hour. Good news is this is headed out to sea. It's a fish storm. It's a nothing burger. It's impressive, but it's not going to impact land. That's good. Leslie is looking like it's going to turn out to be the same thing. Uh, maybe not a major hurricane, but should become a hurricane tropical storm status right now top winds at 65 miles an hour becomes a hurricane at some point and should gain latitude of course we're going to watch it we'll see what happens but right now that's how it looks speaking of how things look closer to home the precipitation outlook valid through friday morning of next week rain amounts in phoenix maybe probably nothing but statewide we might just see a few areas that get some very light precipitation across the higher terrain dotted in there across western arizona the southeastern part of the state and the higher terrain why is that what's going on here well let's talk about it in more detail to do that we explore the models take a look this is the gfs it's the 12Z run. This is valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Okay. Stop me if you've heard this one before. High pressure sitting across the southwest. And that means hot and dry conditions to continue. Down at the surface for the rest of the day today. Yeah, sunny, very hot. Highs 106 to 110. If we hit 110, that's the 68th time we've done that this year. We are almost certainly going to break another record high temperature for the day. That'll be 11 in a row. If you're wondering, by the way, people have been asking on the comments, what's the record for the most days with a record? 
uh, in a row in Phoenix. That was seven. We've we've shattered that. Just about every possible heat record we've broken this year. Tonight, clear sky, lows mostly low 70s to low 80s, depending on where you are. And then tomorrow, it's more the same. Sunny, very hot, 106 to 110. Same story on Sunday, 106 to 110. Air dry, sky's sunny. Now, as we go to Monday, highs 105 to 109, we're still very hot. But going further into next week, models are starting to trend on the idea of at least a weak trough or upper low developing along the West Coast, right along the California coast, maybe dipping into central and southern California. And the flow aloft begins to turn more southerly. There are some indications of a tropical system trying to develop across the uh, the Mexican coast just south of the Baja, maybe, maybe not. But some moisture could get invected northward into the southwest for at least a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms over the higher terrain. Um, and some increase in clouds around here turning partly sunny. And this would serve to do a few things. A, we would increase cloud cover. We'd see some moisture coming in. Humidity levels would tick up at least a little bit. Temperatures would come down somewhat, but keep in mind, high pressure is still the dominant feature, but the heights do come down and with that added moisture in the lower sun angle and, and all that this time of year, that should cool us off a few degrees. I would say highs would be closer to 105 if this is right, but that would probably still be enough for a record on Tuesday and Wednesday, but again, widely scattered showers and thunderstorms might be possible if this scenario verifies, but boy, I am not ready to hang my hat on this solution yet. Yes, we're seeing some more consistent signs this could happen, but even if it does, the chance of rain here in Phoenix, while not mathematically zero, would be very low. It would be kind of similar to what we saw a few days ago with a few showers, maybe one or two popping up close to the valley, though. We'll see. By the time we get to next Thursday, though, again, indications are that the, the ridge is weakening a bit and this little low kind of just gets stuck here over the southwest potentially. And if that's right, the heights come down a little further and temperatures come down just a little further and highs would be around 98 to 102 here in Phoenix. And if that's right, that'd be the end. That'd be the end of the record breaking heat. Now, that's not the end of the heat because temperatures are still above 100 degrees in mid-October. But at least it's something, something, <laughs> something to get excited about. And again, we would have widely scattered showers and thunderstorms, again, mainly over the higher terrain. There just wouldn't be a lot of moisture around, but enough dynamics for at least something. And with all the, the heat around, that would help to trigger a few more showers than probably we'd otherwise have. If we didn't have this incredible heat. Here's a week from today, Friday the 11th. And again... The GFS shows another trough kind of following in here and maybe potentially getting stuck over the southwest. And that could provide enough dynamics for a few showers and thunderstorms across northern Arizona. And maybe temperatures would retreat back to around 100 going out 10 days. This is Sunday, uh, the 13th. And again, if that's right, an upper low here over the southwest yeah, ridging is still the dominant feature, but this is almost like a, a little bit of a Rex block. Uh, that low wouldn't really have anywhere to go and just be sitting here. Now, unfortunately for us, we're kind of on the southern end of it. We're kind of on the the bad side of it, more of the, the negative vorticity side. So I don't know if we'd see anything from that, but we would see slightly cooler temperatures and some breezy conditions. Highs might not make the century mark, which again is... I mean, almost want to throw a parade at that point. I don't like parades. I'm against parades. Not a parade guy. But maybe, maybe just this once, we have a celebration. A, we're finally not in the triple digits in October celebration. How about that? All right, let's just move on. Uh, looking at uh, <laughs> rainfall for Phoenix, this goes out through the 18th of October off the GFS Ensemble. And... Hey, look, these numbers are actually trending up a little bit. We have more and more members that are showing some signs of at least some light precipitation by the middle part of the month over the next seven to 10 days, maybe seeing something, but nothing exciting here, but rain amounts around a 10th of an inch, but that could at least break up the heat a little bit. The European, of course, is the buzzkill and says, no, nothing, forget it, not a drop. We'll see. And then uh, temperatures off the national blend of models. Again, it's just going to be very hot this weekend. 
And uh, the good opportunity to let you know that, look, this kind of heat in October, it can sneak up on you. You, you know, you're not expecting to go outside and have 110 degrees in October. I want you to, I, I say this every day and I really do mean it. We, I, you know, just read a story the other day about you know, hikers being out there and being overwhelmed by the heat. Don't be like that. If you're watching these videos, of course, you probably won't be. But just remember to stay hydrated when you're out there. Bring plenty of water with you. Even if you're out there kind of early in the day, it's still really hot and really dry. So it can get you. All right. So we do see signs that, yeah, temperatures are going to trend down. And look at that. 99 degrees by Monday the 14th is what the NBM is printing out. I mean, I, at this point, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get a jacket out. I, I will, I'll come on camera and wear a jacket if we get down to 99 degrees. How about that? We'll dress up. I'll, uh, we'll make some s'mores. We'll run the space heater. 99 degrees. Burr. Put some icicles on that graphic. All right. That's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here on Monday morning. But, of course, updates before that if necessary. If you really want to hear an update, I guess we could do one where we tell you, hey, here comes another 110-degree day. Uh, otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support, it really is greatly appreciated. You just got to use some humor. You got you to lighten things up when it gets like this, right? If you do enjoy these videos, though, please like, subscribe, share, click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you will be alerted to that. Your comments, questions, and suggestions, they are always encouraged. All of them are read. So I really do appreciate that. And of course, if you really like what we do here, click that thanks icon and support us that way monetarily here on YouTube. Or you can donate directly to us via PayPal. Groffshow at gmail.com is the PayPal address. It's G-R-O-F-F -F show at gmail.com for PayPal. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Kitsune Barbarian and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org the Facebook page of the same name. Sweet Child Arizona talking about my Michelle. Check her out. Please do. Check out our videos. Her and Adriana. Apparently, Adriana is the superstar around here, much more so than I am. She has a video that has over 16,000 views. <laughs> I don't know. Monetize her. Well, you know what? We should have just ran that video instead of this one. Uh, anyway, check her out. Check out all of her videos, everything Michelle related. It is all linked up down in the description. And you can also check out Michelle and Mike related stuff, our streaming station. It's available 24-7, 365. It's called KMGX. We play a ton of music and have a lot of fun with that. So give that a listen as well. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching all of your continued support. It is so greatly appreciated. Please be safe. Stay cool. Stay hydrated out there. Have yourselves a great Friday and a wonderful weekend.